Hello everyone and welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name's Kara if you're new here. So for today's video, I just really wanted to talk about my high school experience and a few things that I learned along the way. And if you were going into high school or either in high school right now, I think you'll benefit from hearing what I learned. Also, if you either graduated or are still in high school, feel free to leave a comment saying something you learned in high school so everybody can just bond in the comments because I think that's so fun and I respond to every comment that is left on my videos. So without further ado, let's get into the video. You guys probably know I didn't have like the best high school experience. I think it's a really weird atmosphere and a lot of people can thrive in it, but a lot of people, it can just not be the best for them. So starting off the bat, I didn't really love high school that much. Even though I'm a really, really outgoing person, it just wasn't my correct environment, I think. So that is a little preface to this video, but yeah. So the first thing I put down is that it takes a long time to realize who you are and what people you want to be friends with. I feel like your freshman year of high school, everyone hops into friendships with each other and they just kind of are trying to make friends. Cause when you're in middle school, it's that same thing of everybody's just, oh, so many more people here. And when you get to high school, it's like that same experience and you're just trying to find more people to be friends with that weren't at your same school because you're like, wow, more people to be friends with. But at the same time, I think that there are a lot of people that you should not be friends with and it takes a long time to figure that out because everybody around you is still kind of learning who they are at the same time. So not everybody meshes with each other and I feel like it's kind of hard in a big social environment where everybody is trying to get to the top and have so many friends it's really hard to connect with everybody and there's a large stereotype on that that people should just have a lot of friends and i honestly disagree with that quite a bit the next thing i learned was how important trying different sports and clubs was i feel like you meet so many people in high school that find their one core sport and stick to it throughout high school that was not me at all whatsoever. I was the kind of girl that hopped from sport to sport, from club to club, just because I really liked the social activity rather than the sport. You know, I'm not someone who's extremely sporty or very good at one thing. I'm like slightly good at little different things and I really like to pick up a lot of skills. So uh, yeah, when I was in high school, I just found a lot of benefits in trying different things. So I did, swim, I did tennis, I did wrestling, I did cheer, I did art club. I just did so many different things even though I was not fantastic at any of these. I just found it was so fun to put yourself into all of these different clubs. And honestly, I learned different lessons and different things about myself from each of these things. Next, nachos from the school lunchroom, slap, absolutely. I used to get my freshman and sophomore year, every single day I would get nachos. If your school doesn't have nachos, there's an issue. They would have those like round tortilla chips, like nacho chips, so good. Then I would get nacho cheese, beans, a half scoop of chicken and a half scoop of meat. Literally, that's kind of gross now that I think about that now. I got double meat that were totally different. That kind of freaks me out. And then I got olives because I freaking love olives. I would eat this every single day best meal of my life now i am so sad that i can't have it again i mean if i visit my sister at school i might visit her for lunch and make her get me some because i just love the school nachos so i kind of learned that i learned that nachos are really freaking good so one of the things i learned my junior and senior year is there's always a way to make things better for you i talked about it a little on my channel and i don't want to make it sound so taboo because i know it's so taboo when people bring up things like mental illnesses just because i don't know people are like Ugh. but i don't want it to be like that i just wanted to say that there are always other options and when i was struggling with anxiety and depression my junior year i had talked with my mom and my counselor and they found other ways to drop me out of my class that was really really hard for me and get me a study period and just different alternatives and even that's why i did my senior year just because i couldn't handle the school environment and that's why I did Running Start. So I just don't want you to feel like going to school is always such a, like a toll on you. There is always another option regardless of where you are 
and just by talking to people that are important in your life you can get out of a really bad scenario for you so i want you to know that i also want to say that high school teachers suck oh my gosh so as i said i've been in running start for a year now and i go to school at the college that's what that means <laughs> High school teachers suck, plain and simple. I'm gonna tell you that. I literally, there's been a few teachers that I absolutely love and I adore and they have been my mentors and just always been there for me, for me when I've been struggling. But I'm gonna tell you, there's a few teachers that are literally a pain in your ass. They're gonna either like you or not like you. And I've had a few that just hated me because honestly, I'm a chatty Cathy with a shit work ethic and like that's on me a lot of the time. But you know, they're gonna love you or they're gonna hate you you know what i mean so just know that everyone's going through things there are always people you can talk to there are ways to um you can talk to classes like people before you and figure out what teachers are not going to work with your personality type because my sister and i have completely opposite personality types and the teachers that liked her did not like me and vice versa so yeah, I want you to really know, again, there's always options for you in school when picking schedules, picking things. Just really try to make your high school experience a good one. That's just really what I want to focus on. The next thing I wanted to say is don't compare yourself to other kids. Oh my gosh. I hated... This is one of the reasons I literally was so excited to leave high school. Oh my gosh. So one of the things that kids would do my junior year specifically was just constantly comparing themselves with their grades and their SAT scores and just like being like, oh my gosh, you didn't get into this school. Blah, blah, blah. And it was just annoying. And honestly, there was some times where I'd be like, wow, I got a C in that class. And honestly, <laughs> And that person would be like, oh my god, I can't believe I got a 98 in this class. And I'm like, are you kidding me? Like, you know how much I struggled in that class? Don't compare yourself to people. Because it's honestly just going to bring down your mental health and your well-being. So, I don't know. Focus on the you. Focus on the now. And don't focus on those other people. And if they're giving you a bad juju, keep them out of your face. Because I hated those people. They were so toxic. My freshman year, I wanted to be around those people just because, I don't know. I always thought it was just you wanted to be with those people, but I realized how much they made me feel bad. Like, I could try my hardest and still not get up to where they would be and they would make fun of me for it. So, really just realize that don't compare yourself to others, ever. Do your own thing because everybody's different, everybody has different abilities, just don't do that. Next thing I wanted to say is make memories every chance you get. I think that's one of the things I'm gonna miss. As you guys know, Corona took away my senior year and I missed things like social events that I was supposed to have even though I was going to Running Start. Like I didn't have a prom, I didn't have a lot of other activities that I was really looking forward to. And I didn't even get to go to my last homecoming because it was on my birthday and I was like, hey, I'm gonna have a prom still. I don't really want to spend my birthday like this i don't know and thinking back i really wish i would have taken that memory because yeah going out to dinner with my family was fun but i could have done that on a different night you know if you are in high school or going in take every opportunity you get because you're not too cool to go to the tailgate you're not too cool to go to the football game just go it's fun you'll remember it and you'll regret it later because i think even now six months later i regret not going to homecoming and it sucks, but there's nothing you can do about it, and we're only young once. YOLO. High school also taught me to be the person your friends want to go to, whether it's for advice or consoling. I just know there were so many times I didn't have that person, and like I was, I didn't want to bring it up with my parents, and I didn't want to bring it up with the friends because I didn't want to be a burden. But I know personally, I love talking about my friends and their lives like if my friend comes to me with a drama or an issue in their life it's not necessarily i want to talk with them but more so that i just want to be there for them because i don't know nothing feels better than someone who can just sit and rant with you so i don't know just be that person for other people because you wish someone would be there for you the next thing i wanted to say is stop letting people walk all over you I see this a lot and I had people do it to me for a while. Um, it's not worth it. Just plain and simple. I don't really want have to go into detail. Just don't let people walk over you. That's plain and simple. The next thing I wanted to say is grades don't define you. And I know this is such a... People are going to be like, yeah, they do. They describe your work ethic. And honestly, things were so hard for me. And like, 
school is school makes me like I know it's so beneficial because there's so many skills that you do need to learn at school although like I would see a bad grade or I got a B or a C or whatever on a test or if I got an F on a math test it would just like bring me down so much to a point where I'd have to like tell myself and be like hey in 20 years are you gonna remember that you got an F on your math test no move on move forward and that's just how it would be and i just want to like really almost like bring this to your attention to like not feel that way you know what i mean i just i don't know i feel like so many people base their entire lives on either getting good grades or just letting their bad grades define them and their future when i can tell you as a proud b student um, b b minus student i was not i was not great towards the beginning there my senior year i got all a's but before then poo poo down the drain nothing was good i just want to tell you your worth is so much more than grades and sometimes it's literally just the environment you're in the subject it's not always because you're stupid because you got a bad grade it's something isn't working for you so i never want you to feel like that little number defines you because it doesn't so Keep working, keep trying, because if I got into college, then so can you. Okay, uh, don't get addicted to Red Bull. This was a problem. Okay, I've spent so much money over my high school time. I live in Washington State, and a really big thing here is coffee stands, which a lot of places don't have. But you drive through, you get a Red Bull, you get a coffee. I don't drink coffee personally. I don't like the taste. I don't like anything about it. So I drink Red Bulls, which they pour Red Bull into a can and add flavoring, and it's addicting. Literally, it's six bucks out of my pocket every single day and it's so, so bad. So if someone offers you an energy drink or a coffee and you're not addicted yet, say no. Say no, this is from me to you, say no. Cause I have spent way too much money on there and I love you too much to be spending all your money. Cause now I'm addicted and I'm having to cleanse myself. <sighs> so stop being addicted to Red Bull and caffeine cause you don't need it. I know you think you, you wake up at 6 a.m. but go get a smoothie. Cause if I could have told myself to never take a sip of my friend's Red Bull, I'd probably still be skinny. <laughs> the next thing I wanna talk about is how important time management is. I feel like my parents have always told me this for so long and I've been like, oh yeah, manage your time. This is gonna screw you up one day. And honestly, I haven't been screwed up by time management yet. Nothing has personally um, been horrible for time management with me. I just noticed myself being so stressed because I overbook so much because I know my freshman year I did a service organization and then I did three sports throughout the year I did honors classes just so many different things and I just want to tell you like take things off your plate if they're not necessary there are so much time to do things and I know it's said do any clubs and sports that you can but spread them out like I would do things like four times at once and it was so bad for like I just was constantly stressed no time for other things no time for like downtime and I don't know just like manage your time whether it's with homework school YouTube because that's why I have such a problem with YouTube it's really important regardless of in life you're always just gonna have so many things you need to manage and at once so if you start working on that early it's better yeah and the last thing I just wanted to say to you guys is that high school is only four years and you'll get through it um, it's a hard time for people. I know that people always said, oh, middle school was like the worst years or whatever. No, <laughs> not for everyone. I think high school was so bad, not, not my thing. I'm a very social person, as I said, but it just wasn't my setting. So regardless of who you are, I want you to push through because there's better things ahead and so many fun things you're gonna have one day so yeah that's it all right guys that's it for this video if you enjoyed it make sure to give it a thumbs up and comment down below something you learned in high school and if you like me make sure to go follow me on instagram at irl Kara, and i post cute selfies and fun things on there also if you like my face and want to continue seeing me in your subscription box make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that post notification bell for more videos for every monday wednesday and friday and i'll see you guys next time goodbye